Good morning, everybody. My name is Kaylee Mackay. I'm a Canadian national team diver. I'm currently in Montreal, and today I'm going to show you what a day in the life of a diver looks like, so stay tuned. Um, it's supposed to be a very long day today. We're turning from around 9 to 5-ish with a bit of a break between. So um, I'll keep you guys uh, up to date with everything. I'll try and show you um, everything that goes on in the pool and all the sanitary measures that we have to follow and everything like that. So it should be... Go ahead. Hog in. Go ahead. Hog in. Hog in. Hog in. Hog in. Hog in. So we just finished our dry land and we're just about to head in the water. Meg and I are going to be chilling all the way up there for the next hour and a half. <laughs> Super excited, it's Friday. <laughs> so I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Everybody, I just finished my first water practice. I'm now on my lunch break, and I just wanted to give you guys the opportunity to ask questions um, if you have anything to ask me. So I will leave the question box in this story, and I look forward to answering your questions. So I just finished practice, and I thought I would show you guys the view from my office. Finally done for the day. It was a very long week and a very, very long day, but I'm very happy with today. It was quite successful and I'm looking forward to getting home and having a restful and calm weekend. So a lot of you guys have been asking where I'm from and when I started diving, I'm from Calgary, Alberta. Um, started diving at five or six years old at Dive Calgary and I moved to Montreal when I was 16 to start training with the Olympic team. The judges only get to see the dive live so that don't get any playback or anything. Um, and Meg and I have been working really hard for the past four years on our timing. Uh, we had to work with our jump height because I jump a little bit higher than her. But other than that, everything comes pretty natural for us. This is a really good question. Um, everybody's different, but for me, I do around 100 dives a day when I have a 10 meter day, and I only do around 20 of those dives on the 10 meter uh, since 10 meters impact is so huge on us. Um, it's really hard to manage if we overdo it. A lot of you guys have been asking about how I overcome fear and if I'm still scared on the 10 meter, and I definitely am sometimes. Um, it's mostly nerves though. The adrenaline really pumps on 10 meter, but I think the best way to overcome fear is to really, you know, face it and accept it and then really push through it and learn from all the fear you have. This is definitely another frequently asked question. Um, we're not always worried about being close because it's something we learn early on with our technique on how to be safe and be at a safe distance, but it does come to a point that sometimes we are close and we have to deal with it and that's when it comes to practice. There's so many things I'd like to tell young athletes, but I think the biggest one would be to not let fear of failure or fear in general um, take over your athletic career. I think um, pushing through fear and overcoming fear is one of the biggest successes we can have as athletes. But we deal with it.
All right, guys, so it's just about time for me and Vince to chill out and watch a movie. It's been a long week, and I had a lot of fun doing this takeover. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw, and if you guys have any more questions or want to see more content like you saw today, I post pretty similar stuff on my own feed. So if you want to give me a follow, my Instagram is at kmckay. Um, I'll put it in this story so you guys can just click it and follow. Um, I want to thank you guys again for following along and hope you enjoyed it. Good night.